by heart, get ready. Fantasy football is here. Welcome to the Full-Time Fantasy Show. FullTimeFantasy.com is home to the Fantasy Football World Championships and the best players in the world. Real money winners giving their secrets to help you win. Now exclusively on iHeart. This is the Full-Time Fantasy Show with your host, the one, the only, Dr. Roto. Dr. Roto, get out the insurance cards, get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. All right, today is a huge day, guys. It is a huge day. It's a trade deadline. Lots of things are being talked about, but very few things may happen. We know football. It's not like baseball. Baseball, you know, when there's where there's smoke, there's fire. In football, where there's smoke, there's nothing. Okay? So a couple of guys that we – Melvin Gordon, is he going to get traded – uh, Darius Slay, is he going to get traded? Uh, Detroit says they, they want a Ramsey, Jalen Ramsey-like deal. Now the craziest thing is that the Jets, right? Daily News, Manish Meta reports that the Jets want to trade Le'Veon Bell before the deadline. Are you kidding me? Seriously. All this tells me is that Adam Gase has the ear of the ownership. Because Adam Gase didn't want Le'Veon Bell. Where would this team be without Le'Veon Bell? I mean, they're already bad with him. Where would they be without him? Seriously, you want Ty Montgomery and Bilal Powell? What could you possibly get? Now, let me ask you this other question. This is how the Jets are so stupid. I mean, really, when you think about dumb teams, I want you to think about the Jets. Bell, if some team really wanted Bell, wouldn't they have given, wouldn't they have like made offers to him? Really, wasn't the Jets one of the best offers that they had before the season? That for Bell? So now this article that Meta goes, the Texans, Chiefs, and Bills could use a bell cow back. Don't the Bills have Singletary? Do they want to pay $27 million for Bell? I mean, I know they don't like Frank Gore. I get that. And maybe they think that Singletary is a better third down back. I don't know if the Bills are paying that. The Chiefs? Haven't you seen Darwin Thompson and Darrell Williams? Why do you think they need to spend on that? And the Texans... Maybe I'm crazy, but Carlos Hyde has been pretty productive. And they just traded for Duke Johnson. So, I don't know. This is just a lot of dumb. Maybe he gets traded and maybe I'll be wrong. And then I will absolutely apologize. But this just seems to be... I'm not going to say it's bad reporting. But what are the Jets doing? You need a running back. You lose Bell. I mean, what is Sam Darnold going to do? But the interesting thing is they don't throw to Bell anyway. This is crazy. This is literally crazy. So I, I'm, I would tell you that I'm shocked. I'm not shocked because nothing shocks me. Nothing the New York Jets do shocks me. If it can go wrong, the Jets will do it. Oh, let's get a GM that doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, we did that. Let's get a coach who everybody hates. Oh, we did that. Let's sign guys that nobody wants. Oh, we did that. Let's try to trade a guy for, for nothing. <laughs> let's work on that. All right. Do I think Slay gets traded? No. Do I think Melvin Gordon gets traded? Yes, if, if Jackson's healthy. They need Justin Jackson healthy because without it, they can't just go with Eckler. But they certainly can go with Eckler and Jackson. So Melvin Gordon can go. For sure, Melvin Gordon can go. If I'm the Bills, I'd much rather Melvin Gordon because, I mean, I can let him go at the end of the year. I can use him this year, and then I'll figure it out next season. I'm not going to deal with the Bills contract. So I'd rather get Gordon, who's better than Frank Gore, and I'll move on that way. All right. James Conner injured his shoulder. He's being evaluated, and we don't know what's going on. Is it a clavicle? Is it an AC joint? We don't know. But I know this, that Jalen Samuels is ready to go, and he's somebody that you're going to have to deal with. He's going to be a big, a good player. And I may have cut him in a lot of leagues, I, I, admittedly. I may, may have caught him. Now, I drafted Jalen Samuels literally everywhere. Alexander Madison, Devin Singletary, Jalen Samuels. These are my guys. Okay? These are my guys. And Chase Edmonds. I was in on all of them. And then when he got injured and they said that he was going to be out for like a month, I said to myself, well, you've got James Conner. you got Benny Snell who looks good. How is Samuels going to play? Football's so interesting. Well, Benny Snell's got a knee injury. James Conner's got a shoulder injury. Jalen Samuels feels pretty good. And now he's going to go for a boatload of money on in fab. And is he worth it? I don't know. 
I, I mean, I'll bid on him, but I'm not going to bid heavily on him. I have to go and see, and hopefully I've kept him on some teams. Seriously, I hope I've kept him because I don't think I have. I think I cut him. And the worst part is I think I cut him for, like, kickers and defenses because I didn't want to cut Justin Tucker. So I'm not happy. Not happy at all. All right, the Chargers fire Ken Wisenhunt. The only, look, when you start firing offensive and defensive coordinators, that means you're about two steps from firing the head coach. Anthony Lynn's got to go. He's going to be fired. Fact, he's going to be fired. Just a question of when. Okay? <coughs> Stay tuned to our radio show. And for sure, I will cover any trades tomorrow on tomorrow's podcast. Okay? I'll break them down, give you the fantasy impact, and you will know what's going on. All right, so let me give you some names on the waiver wire. First, at quarterback, um, Ryan Tannehill. I mean, maybe he's still out there in your league. I think he's interesting. Um, I don't think he's great, but I think he's good enough. Derek Carr. Yes, that's right. Derek Carr from the Raiders. He's played pretty well this year. i got to give him some credit. I thought he was going to be doo-doo, but he's been pretty impressive. Um, what about... Is Matthew Stafford out there in your league? I doubt it, but if he is, you got to go all in on him. Okay? Uh, Matt Moore for maybe a week or two until Mahomes comes back. And then let's just talk about what's going on in Denver. Joe Flacco is going to be out. Brandon Allen is starting uh, this week, and then they have their bye week, and then you're going to see Drew Locke. If you're looking for a quarterback and, you, you know, maybe you can go with Drew Locke. I just wasn't especially impressed with Drew Locke in college. Let me... Let me look at these numbers here. Um, yeah, so in college, he threw for 30, 3,500 yards, 28 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Right? He had 55 rushes for 175 yards. So he's slightly mobile, but he's not a great passer of the football. He's, he's more athlete than anything to me. Is he good? I don't, I don't think so. I think people are going to pick him up. And I just don't think he's that special. I think this is John Elway hoping to catch lightning in a bottle. And I, I'm not sure it's effective. I'm not sure it's effective. So let's talk about something very important here. Would I cut Sam Darnold? Well, yes. If they if they get rid of Le'Veon Bell, oh, they're going to throw the passing game. I don't know. I think Sam Darnold has seen ghosts. I mean, legit. He's seen ghosts, goblins, and gremlins. That's a lot of interceptions over the last two weeks. I think he started to lose confidence. And when a quarterback loses confidence, it can get ugly quickly. Problem is the Jets have nobody else there. So, be careful. All right, at running back, Jamal Williams, great matchup. I don't think he's out there, but if he is, you get him. Kenyon Drake, going to be the starter for the Arizona Cardinals. I can't believe he's out there, but maybe there's a 2% chance he is. Raheem Mostert, take a look and see how he's, if, how he's faring injury-wise. But certainly if Bride is out, he's, I like him. Mark Walton, last chance to get Mark Walton. I, I, I should have had him two weeks ago. This is like when I gave you Juju a couple of years ago. I was on Juju five weeks before people, you know, you, you, there's a certain expiration date. Won't be there. I will tell you some guys I want. Daryl Henderson. I do. I want Daryl Henderson. I think Malcolm Brown is not the guy moving forward. Henderson is, and Gurley will slow down a little bit. I like Henderson. I like Rashad Penny in case he was dropped in the league. Look, the guy's got talent. I know there's a lot of Chris Carson, but all you need is one hamstring, and Rashad Penny's a star. How about Jeff Wilson? I like Jeff Wilson, too. He scores touchdowns. And Darius Geis is supposed to come back in Week 11. So I, I don't love Geis, and people are going to overspend on Geis. I'm not going to do that, but I know that people will, right? Because they figure that, you know, hey, he's coming back. They're not going to give him 40 carries a game. It's just not going to happen. All right. And remember, guys, go get your backups. You have Marlon Mack, get Jordan Wilkins. You have Ezekiel Elliott, get Tony Pollard. Right? You've got uh, Christian McCaffrey, get Reggie Bonifant. Protect yourselves. All right, let's get to wide receivers. Some names I like. Maybe Nicole Hardman was cut. He is going to be used as a gadget player, but he's one injury away from starting. So let's look at him. How about Darius Slayton? If Shepard is not there, Slayton looks like a good speed receiver. And even if Shepard is there, Slayton's the third receiver running on the outside. He's looked pretty good. You know I love me some Danny Amendola. And I think the new Lions offense fits him perfectly. That's who they want to go to. I love him. Now let me give you some other guys. Josh Reynolds. What if Brandon Cooks is injured? Now even if Brandon Cooks isn't, 
Woods, Cup, Cooks. One of those guys gets injured. Josh Reynolds is the guy. Russell Gage might be worth a stash in a deep league, especially if you own Julio Jones or Calvin Ridley. Not a great player, but you know what I mean. And, and Alex Erickson done well. I just think I expect that A.J. Green is going to be back after the bye week. Kiki Kuti is a guy that I might look at. I think he's interests me a little bit. Sanu for sure if he's out there in the league. I'm interested in that. So those are some names at, at wide receiver. There's just not a lot of great names. Sad to say, not, not a lot of great names. Finally, at tight end, Jonu Smith. Look good. Delaney Walker's dealing with an ankle injury. Delaney Walker's like 100 years old. I like Jonu Smith. Chris Herndon. Ryan Griffin had two touchdowns last week. Sam Darnold loves throwing a Herndon. He's a must play this week. Against the Dolphins, must play. Darren Fells, the guy's a mountain. The guy's like 6'7", 260. And you know what? Deshaun Watson finds him and likes him. I think I'd pick him up. Chuck Clay, look, the Cardinals throw the ball. He catches like two or three passes a game. He's interesting. Dallas Goddard, Carson Wentz is throwing the ball to everybody these days, right? It's not been Zach Ertz. If you drafted Zach Ertz, I feel badly for you because you did nothing wrong. You thought that Wentz was going to use Zach Ertz, but he hasn't. He's been using everybody, and Goddard's been way more involved. Now, you know how much I like Goddard. Why do I like Goddard? Because if, if Zach Ertz should get hurt, Goddard gets all the targets, making him even more impressive and more important. Okay? Now, look. We've spoken about this before. Please don't go crazy. Wayne Gallman didn't help anybody. Maybe he helped you for a game. Ty Johnson didn't help anybody. Did I give you a name here today who is so great? Oh, by the way, I missed the name. I want to remember it. Chris Conley. If D.D. Westbrook is out, Chris Conley is a good player. Maybe Chris Conley might be the only guy that I would go in on this week. And even then, I would. how much am I going to spend on a Jacksonville receiver? I mean, DJ Chark is the best guy there. I like Conley, but I mean, is, am I going to spend $283 on him? Probably not. Somebody will. Problem is, this year, I just haven't seen anybody emerge. I haven't seen anybody there like, oh, I really like this guy. I got to go in. Ty Johnson wasn't worth it. Wayne Gallman wasn't worth it. Most of these guys are not worth it. So please be judicious with your money. We still have some time. Maybe somebody else emerges. I've got a couple of names in the recesses of my mind here that I think could be those guys. But, you know, I, I don't know. You know, they're going to need they're gonna need an injury to even get, like, noticed. But maybe it's worth it holding back just in case. You never know. But here's what I do know. I do know it's time to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. I want you guys to check out fulltimefantasy.com. Enter the promo code ROTO50 for 50% off your first two months. And I've got my article going to be posted tomorrow at SI.com. My start sit article, SI.com backslash fantasy. So check it out there. All right, guys, this is Dr. Roto saying be well and take care. Thanks for listening to Full-Time Fantasy. There's never been a better time to join and go full-time. Visit FullTimeFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO50 for 50% off your first two months. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time.